Good evening. My name is Dr. Raymond van der Schneider, uh, and I have an update on the conditions of Stork's starting pitchers, uh, Jose Almonte. Uh, now, Mr. Almonte has suffered a torn back muscle, uh, and whilst we are hopeful he will make full recovery, uh, he will miss the remainder of the Stork's season. Thanks. Hello everybody and welcome to the Anger Room. Uh, now we do have a new face amongst us today, that is Roger the King Bernardina. Uh, now Roger joins us as he has a little bit of an anger management issue. Uh, he was recently suspended for fighting for the second time in a season uh, during a baseball game. Uh, now Roger, this is a safe place. Uh, now can you please tell us where do you think this anger issue comes from? Hi guys, I'm Ozzy Villa and welcome to the Baseball Journeyman episode 14 at the Silicone Storks and today we are going to be hopefully crowned champions of the Dutch regular season because we are, we're basically in a position where if we win one of our last four games we will be champions. We've already qualified, we will be going to the playoff, uh, we'll be in the final against likely Alan and the Amsterdam Pirates, possibly uh, Karachun Neptunus, uh, but we'll get to that in just a second. But we are definitely going to be there, and like I say, we just need one winner from our last four games, and we will be champions. And today we're playing DSS Kinheim. If we win that, we will be champions. Or if the Pirates lose, and the Pirates are playing, um, they are playing, who they, that's Hoffendorf, I think, isn't it? Um, yeah, so they're playing them, so they're the worst team in the league. So you'd imagine that they would win, uh, but if we win, then it doesn't matter what they do, because we will be, uh, we will be champions, which would be an amazing achievement uh, in our second season. Now, a lot to catch you up on. The big news, though, as you've seen, is Jose Almonte, season over for Jose. Um torn back muscles. Now, I'm hoping, I'm not a pitcher, I've never been a pitcher, um, but I'm imagining a torn back muscle, it, it, it's probably something that's not going to affect him too badly long term. Uh, I think shoulder, elbow injuries are the real killers for pitchers, so I'm hoping he will come back at the sort of next season and be fine, um, but it's a massive blow for us this uh, this season. Um, we've basically rejigged the bullpen. We've brought Timo Van Ankrum into the starting rotation. Uh, he's done okay as a starter, but I wouldn't say he's, uh, he's set the world off on, on light, which is a bit disappointing. And back into the bullpen is uh, D Dario Alvarez, who we saw last year. Wasn't fantastic for us, um, but he's in this, you know, back in now, and hopefully uh, he'll do a good job for us um, for the rest of the year because he's in the team. Uh, and the other news, of course, is that Bernardina, like an absolute moron, got himself suspended again for fighting. Um, where are we here? It's, uh, there it is there. He got himself a four-game uh, suspension. Uh, Bernardina and Aaron de Groot of uh, Caracal uh, received notifications from the league's commissioner's office that they have both been suspended for four, for four and eight games, eight games for the pitcher for an on-field ruckus. Uh, basically... Uh, the Groot hit Bernardino with a pitch, and Bernardino went and charged the mound and punched him. I think he tried to punch him. I think he actually said he missed. But anyway, um, so we've put him in anger management, and I mean, it's the only thing that's going to hold, hold him back is... You know, Roger, you can't be suspended for the playoffs, mate. That's my only concern that teams are just like, well, if we just pluck him with a pitch, uh, with, you know, with an inside fastball, then... Worst case scenario, he gets on base, and best case scenario, he's missing for the next four games. But uh, yeah, so there we go. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, it's going really well. You can see Bernardino is an absolute star, but also a star of recent times is Carabello. Now, you'll see here, they are neck and neck for home runs over the course of a season. Now, yes, Carabello's played eight more games, but that's Bernardino's own fault. And they're also neck and neck for RBIs as well. Um... And they're both uh, going to set uh, club uh, uh, league records, essentially. I think uh, the league record for RBI is, is 49. So Bernardina, certainly, you would imagine, in the next four games, will manage to get himself at least uh, three RBIs. So, um, yeah, I mean, they're both going for, for, for league records in that sense. Let's have a quick look at how things have gone since last episode. And I'll be honest, um, we've struggled a little bit. Uh, we left off, of course, on that massive, disappointing loss to Amsterdam last time out. Game 2 uh, was actually a really, really good game. Uh, it was a close game, and we just came off second best, uh, which was a little bit disappointing, obviously. Uh, but it, it is what it is. Profs had a bit of a poor game by his standards, four end runs he gave up. Um, but yeah, we just we just came off second best of two good teams in that one. And then we went to game three, uh, and it was another really, really good close game. 
And this time we did manage to come out on top. Uh, Randy Jackson with a two-run double uh, in the eighth, which is what secured the uh, the points for us on this occasion. Uh, and this was Martis that got the start in this one and did a decent job against, of course, his uh, his former club. So that was the LND Amsterdam series. Then we played Quick Amersfoort. Um, and again, you can see, disappointing. We lost two of three in this one. This is the game where Almonte got injured. Uh, he got injured relatively early on. You can see it went 14 innings and... We basically just ran out of bullpen. Um, it was uh, Van Drell, our closer, in his third innings of work that uh, that gave up the run. Um, and like I say, we just we just ran out. We just ran out of uh, out of uh, out of steam in this one. Our Mount you can see went 1.1 innings. Um, so a little bit of a disappointment, but you can maybe write that off. Game two, we won a really really close one. Um, which was fantastic. And then game three, we lost again. And this you can see here, the bats, we just kind of went cold. Uh, only six hits in this one against not the best team in the league. And yeah, we were just, we, to be honest, we were never in it. We got one run back in the eighth, but we were just never, never in it. And Martis, again, he's really, really unlucky. I mean, four earned runs is a little bit high by his uh, standards, but yeah, got a little bit unlucky again where the bats went cold. And then the bats woke up and they woke up in a big way. We, uh, yeah, we went uh, 19 runs off 19 hits. Uh, there was, was this the one where there was a, a grand slam for DeLima. Now, would you believe that was his first career home run and it was a grand slam? Um, so that was amazing. Uh, you, um, you love a grand slam, don't you? Also in this one, Carabello with two home runs uh, with four RBIs for him. You can see Bernardina got, went uh, three for four with three RBIs as well. And obviously DeLima, his grand slam. But he went three for six as well. He's, he's, he's in the lineup now for, as a designated hitter doing a really, really good job. Um, but you can see there, Bernardina with a home run, DeLima, Carabello with two, and Ricky Kuypers also with uh, with a home run in this one. And Profs, eight innings, three earned runs. Pitching hasn't quite been as good as it has been as well. You'll notice that we're conceding a few more runs. Uh, game two in this series, um, this is where that we lost Bernardina to fighting again. But it was basically two two-run home runs, Bladell and Bernardina, uh, in the, Bernardina in the third, Bladell in the fifth. And they got the job done for us. Uh, and again, a decent pitching performance, this time by Martin again who went eight innings two earned runs and Van Drell came in and cleaned up uh, the last inning for him which was good stuff um, then we lost game three uh, this was Timo Van Ankrum's first start and it did no go well uh, pitching in this one was a problem 15 hits we gave up we didn't hit too badly nine hits but only the two runs um, and yeah it was just Van Ankrum went 5.1 gave up six uh, the youngster Winkler came out of the bullpen, gave up five from his 1.1. Um, and he's been a little bit disappointing. I'll show you everybody's sort of full range of stats in a second. Uh, you look at that, I really think he needs another pitch, to be honest. Only the two pitches is, is going to possibly hold him back. Uh, as a professional pitcher. Then we went and played Hoffendorp. We lost game one. Again, bats went cold. Zero runs against one of the worst teams in the league. Only four hits as well, um, which is frustrating because Bernardina was missing for these games, um, which maybe explains it a little bit. Uh, then we had game two here. Now, we were in big, big trouble here. We got five runs in the bottom of the ninth to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. And it was a walk-off grand slam by Carabello. I've never seen that before uh, in my life. I'm sure it happens in real life, you know, semi-regularly. But a walk-off grand slam. I was up. I was cheering. I'm surprised you didn't hear me. It was amazing. I certainly annoyed my wife. Um, but yeah, excellent stuff there. Martis didn't have a great outing. Six earned runs from his eight innings pitch. And as I said, you can see pitching has just gone off a little bit. We're not as lights out as we were. And then we won game three as well, which is excellent. We've put us in a position now. We've got a, a makeup game from earlier in the season against the uh, DSS here. Um, and then the sort of the regular three games of the series. So we're at home for the first two. Um, let's go and have a look. Actually, before we go and have a look at that, I did say I'd show you everybody's stats for the season. This is them here. Um, you can see the starting rotation. It's Max Profs that gets the start for us today. If you want to have a bit of a longer look at these um, at all these stats, just give it a quick pause. And this is the hitting side of things as well. Um, you can see Carabello and Bernardina are on fire, uh, which is excellent. You know, uh, long may that continue. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's going it's going well as long as Bernardina keeps his fists to himself. All right, let's have a look at the team we're sending out to hopefully go and be crowned champions.
And this is it. It's Urbanus leading us off at second base. Bladell bats second in right field. It's Bernardino the King in center field batting three. Carabello at first base cleaning up. It's designated hitter Kendrick De Lima at number five. Uh, Ricky Kuipers bat six in left field. Ryan Jackson the shortstop bat seven. It's Quinlan DeVint at uh, batting eight at third base. And Martina the catcher bats nine. And it's Profs that goes on the mound for us. We're up against, uh, what are we up against here? Uh, Jesus. Uh, Surindi. Valeriano, um, he doesn't look particularly strong. Uh, his ERA this season is almost six and a half. His whip is over two. Uh, his ERA plus is 39. He's got a negative war. I tell you what, this might be a good game for us to try and uh, get those bats hot again. Not that they've gone completely cold, but you know it hasn't. As I, you can see for yourselves, just off of the off of the results there, it's not. It's not been as good as we have been. It's a little bit concerning coming into the playoffs. We've just seen a little bit of a, in, in attribute um, ratings, seen a little bit of a drop off from Bernardina. Uh, I mean, that's as much as I think just down to age. I think he's 37 now. Um, that's hit to Vladell, and he makes a good catch out there. It was well hit, though, so a little bit of luck there for us, perhaps. Um, so that's a slight concern. But the thing with Bernardina and Carabello, even though they're old and they will drop off a little bit, they're still, I think, far and away the best players in the division. So... Um, so that's that's not too much of a problem for us. And this should end at uh, Urbanus over there to Carabello, and that'll do it for the top of the first. And let's see if we can go and get a hold of this pitcher now. It's going to be Nick Urbanus to lead us off, batting 302 this season. Full count on Irby. What can he do? Come on, Nico boy. He walks. All right, leadoff man aboard. Excellent stuff. Brings up Johnny Bladell, who's batting 310 this season. Another full count. Bladell, that could be a double play. Oh, no, it's an error by the third baseman. And that, I imagine, is quite disappointing for them. Um, and there we, go. <clears throat> there we go. Should say two familiar face out there in right field. Jeffrey Baez, who, of course, we had last season. We traded him away. Bernardina, he walks. Bases are loaded. We haven't got a hit as of yet. And it's Carabello. I tell you what, if a grand slam here makes it a very, very interesting race for, the, uh, for home runs and uh, for RBIs. But uh, they walk in a run. It's going to count as an RBI anyway for uh, for Carabello, and it's going to be De Lima now with a chance to clean the bases for us. Two and one's the count on him. He has that's not great, but is it going to be an infield hit? No, just the one though. It is an RBI still for uh, De Lima. Though. I'm not sure if he deserves one. It's Ricky Kuipers with one out. Runners at second and third. What can he do? He has hit that really well. That's going to get out into the outfield. That might score two. Coming around, no, stays at third, but a run, one run got there in the end, does cross the plate. Runners at the corners with one out. Ryan Jackson now with a chance to drive in some runs. Batting 306, Jackson quietly having a very, very good season. And he's popped that up. Can we get the runner back at third, please? And Jackson just might have himself another RBI here. It's all the way back. It's a really good throw in from the outfield, and they've got him. Well, you've got to say there, credit where it's due in centre field, a stunning throw to the plate, and it's got uh, got us at the, got our man at the at the, uh, at the plate there. So it's Max Profs now to Jeffrey Baez, only batting 190 this year. It was my big my big uh, criticism of Baez last year is that he, he he didn't hit that off, and when he was hitting well, he was as good as Bernardino almost, but. He, he just was too inconsistent through the season. There's another out for Profs. It's going to bring up Joris Timmer to the plate. He's batting 250 this year. 0-2 is the count on him. Can Profs sit him down? Yes, he can. And we end the top of the second with a three-run lead. And you can see there, Profs now has the second most strikeouts in a season with 132. I don't think he's not going to get the record. He's too, he needs. I think he needs about 20-odd strikeouts this game. DeVint to lead us off. And that is a strikeout for Quillen Devine. It brings up Martina batting 246 this year. What can the catcher do? Owen wins the count. And that is grounded the first base. And I dare say an out. There it is. Two away. And it's going to bring up Nick Urbanus again. He oh, was bad in every innings of the game so far today. Let's see what he can do. Of course, walked last time up. 3 and is the count. And Urbanus has drawn another walk going to bring up Bladell now. Now, he got out last time. Oh, no, he didn't get out. It was the error, wasn't it? That's been popped up. He'll get out this time, and that'll do it for the bottom of the second. We don't add anything, and it is still 3 nothing. but that's enough. Win this game again, and we are champions. Um, let me know what you guys think to how we want to cover the playoffs. Do we want to do every game? Um, do we want to do every second game? 
uh, sort of one, three, and then uh, until sort of someone can win it? Or do we want to, uh, yeah, I'm kind of wondering if we could do, now if you're watching the Seattle Mariners series when we did the World Series there, where we just did a game a day throughout the playoffs. Um, I don't know if I could do a game every day, but maybe a game every other day, so sort of on the days that there is no Toronto Blue Jays, so that would be sort of Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursdays um, throughout the playoffs. I'm wondering if maybe that is that is the best way to go. Um and then we can sort of end the season and, and move on our merry way uh, on to next season. Here we go with Bernardina to lead us off as uh, continuing to do a great job on the mound for us is Max Profs. So that's going to be an out though for Bernardina. And it's going to get Carabello onto the plate, up to the plate. And let's see what he can do. 0-2 is the count. Francesco not always great. And that's a strike. He's the slowest man alive. <laughs> At least he tried to run. And that is two away. That brings up Kendrick DeLima, who is 0 for 1 today. He did, of course, get the, the uh, RBI last time out, though, with the uh, ground out, wasn't it? Strikes out this time. I tell you what, looks like their pitchers warmed up to the task, but has he left himself too much work to do? Max Prof to continue. 1 and 2 to Camargo. That's been well hit out there into uh, left field. That's the first hit of the game for uh, Kinheim. And there is no one out. Runner at first for Kai Bomb to the plate, who is batting 233 this year. That's been well hit out there into right field. Bladell makes it. Can he get the runner at third? No, he stays at second, so no need. But tying run comes to the plate. It is Jeffrey Baez, who is undoubtedly going to want to uh, prove to us we shouldn't have traded him away. But that's exactly why we did. A strikeout for Max Profs. Seven already. Amazing stuff. McDonald comes in the bat now, batting 284. First pitch swing. Can we nail the runner at third? No. And that's a problem. Runners at second and third with one out. We could really do with a strikeout here, Mr. Profs. It's not going to be that. One and one's the count. That's up the middle, and that's going to score at least one. Can Bernardina stop the second run coming across the plate? He can. But it's three to one, and still only the one out. And runners at the corners as well. Timmer comes up to bat now. 0 for 1 he is today. Make that 0 for 2. That's a huge out. A huge out. And it's Van Urk to the plate. He's 0 for 1 today, batting 227. Can Profs end this innings here and now? Yes, he can. All right. An excellent performance from Profs uh, to get himself out of that. Two strikeouts. He continues to rack up the numbers in that column. And it's Kuipers to lead us off, batting 294 this year. Kuipers, oh, that's a big one. Ricky Kuipers, home run. That's how you lead off an innings. It's uh, 402 feet for Ricky Kuipers. I think it's a sixth home run of the year for him this year. We cancel out the run they got instantly. And that is excellent stuff from Ricky Kuipers. All right, that's Ryan Jackson to the plate now. Let's see what he can do. One and two's the count. Jackson up the middle, and that's going to be a base hit for Jackson. Excellent stuff by the shortstop. No one out. Runner at first, and it's going to be DeVint now, who struck out last time up, I think. Two and two's the count this time. DeVint has hit into a double play, and that is very disappointing indeed. So, bases emptied for the catcher. Martina with two out. What can he do? Two and two's the count. Come on, mate. No, that looked like a decent pitch, to be fair. And that is... The end of the fourth, but we cancel out the run they got. We're 4-1 up, and it's Profs with nine strikeouts through four innings to continue to Illis. One that knows the count. That's the ground ball to Nick Urbanus. Over to Carabello, and that is one away. It is Tommy Van de something or other. We can't see. Late name is very, very long. Oh, Van den Senden, it looks like up there. One and two is the count. And another strikeout for Max Profs. He has ten strikeouts through five innings. The record in the league is 15. He has got to be a chance of getting at least 16 strikeouts this game from here. That's been well hit. Actually, no, it's not. It's been popped up. Bernardina's coming around. Should make a simple catch. He does. And that gets us out of the fifth. No runs given up. And it's going to be Nick Urbanus to lead us off. He is still 0 for 0 today, having walked twice. Full count. Can he get three walks from three at bats? No, he cannot, but he's got a nice hit there all the way to the fence. That's going to be at least a double for Urbanus. And that's a way to lead off with innings. Not quite as good as... How about half as good as Ricky Kuiper's last innings, of course? But we'll take it. And that is another runner in scoring position with Johnny Bledel, who's 0 for 2 today, but a chance to extend our lead here. First pitch swing. 
Gladell grounds at the shortstop, and that is not going to move anything around. One out, still runner at second, and it's Bernardina. You can see his attributes just dropped off ever so slightly. He's 0 for 1 today. What can he do? He has hit that really, really, really well against the shift. Maybe not that well, but he's hit it well. And that is going to bring in a run. Bernardina adds an RBI to his tally. Brings him one closer to the league record. And I tell you what, could he get 50 RBIs in a season? He already has 47. He's only needs three from the last three games. Carabello comes up to bat now. Two and two's to count on him. Carabello pops it up. That's going to be two away. Bernardina's not going to have a chance to uh, to move on. And he will stay at second. And it's going to be De Lima now with a chance. Batting 306 this year. Only seven RBIs though. He hasn't got many. And he's not going to add any to that. Because that might be an infield hit. Run, De Lima. Oh, he does beat it out. For the second time today, he's just got a little one in the infield. This time, no RBI. But he does get a hit from it. And it's Ricky Kuipers. Two for two today with the home run as well. First pitch swing. Kuipers grounds it down the third base line. That'll get uh, the innings out of the way. We tack on a run, though, thanks to Bernardina. And it is 5-1 now. And we are looking good for this title. Camargo comes back up to bat. He is 1-2 and two today. 2-2 two and two's the count. That is a ground ball to Nick Urbanus at second. Over to first. And that is one away. Kaibom to the plate. 1-2 for two he is today. Full count. That's grounded there to Jackson. Over to Carabello for two out. And oh, come on, Profs. We've got to get these strikeouts, mate. You need six of them. Profs, uh, uh, Baez, Baez comes back up. He's a strikeout waiting to happen. There's number 11. And that gets us out of the top of the sixth. Still 5-1 up. We are nine outs away from being crowned champions. Ryan Jackson to the plate. One and one. Pops it up into right field. Baez will make a catch out there. And that will be the first out of the bottom of the sixth. Brings up Quillen DeVint, who's 0 for 2 today. Not had a great day at the plate. 3 and 0's the count here, though. And he walks. Excellent stuff by Quillen. Drawing the walk, it brings up Martina, who's 0 for 2 today. With the runner at first. First pitch swing. He's hit that. Oh, he's popped it up, though. It sounded okay off the bat, but... Uh, Straight up in the air, essentially. Centerfield makes a simple catch, and that is two away for Urbanus now, who's one for one with a million walks today. First pitch swing. DeVint's going for the steal, and DeVint gets there easily. Wonderful stuff. A fourth stolen base this year for DeVint, and Urbanus now with a chance to get a 20th RBI of the season for him. One and two is the count. Is he going to strike out? Irby, come on, son. No, he does strike out. And that ends the six. We don't add any runs, but still with that four-run lead. It's Profs to continue to McDonald, who is one for two today with an RBI. That's been well hit. Straight past Carabello, down into the right field corner. Is it going to be a double? Liddell cannot prevent that. And that is not the way we wanted to start the innings. Is Profs just starting to tire a little bit here, I wonder? He's over 100 pitches deep now. Tim up to the plate. I don't think we're going to see the record now. There's not been enough strikeouts recently. That should be out at first. Runner does go to third, though. And it's Van Urk to the plate, who is 0 for 2 today. 2 and 1's the count. That's up the middle. That's going to pull them one run back. It's 5 to 2. Still with only one out. Still with that runner at first. And Profs continues now to Illis. 2 and 2's the count. Strikes him out, two away. That's strikeout number 12 for Profs. It's technically still possible. Van Senden. That's been driven to uh, to Devint at third. Makes the catch. And that is stretch time. It's 5-2. We're three runs up. We are six outs away. And it's Bladell to lead us off. One and two for Johnny Bladell. Is he going to have a bad day at the plate? It looks as though he is. And I think he's still on a hit streak as well, which might be about to come to the end. His hit streak's pushing 20 games. Bernardina, three and one. Bernardina. Oh, has he got it? Bernardina, gone! It's a 16th home run for Roger Bernardina. It's a 48th RBI. He is now two away from breaking the record, one away from tying it. And Roger Bernardina, the king, makes it 6-2. to two, Extends our lead back out to 4. That'll do it for the pitcher. It brings up Carabello to the plate. He's going to have a first pitch swing. And it must be raining. It is raining. All right. Carabello continues at the plate. Full count. What's he got for us? Come on, Francesco. Oh! 
is that going to go as well? No, I think it's too high. Is it? Oh, it's right back to the track. The distance on that thing is about 500 yards, but unfortunately it went 300 straight up. The Lima comes in now with two outs. One and two is the count on Kendrick. And he strikes out. And that'll do it for the seventh. We move into the eighth. Is Profs going to come back out? He is. He needs four strikeouts to break the league record. It's not going to be one of them here. One and two's the count. That's the ground board at Carabello. He'll take the base himself. And Profs now needs four of the last five outs to be strikeouts. Full count. Can he get one here? No, he cannot. And he now needs to strike out the remaining hitters of this game. And that looks unlikely, doesn't it? It's Kai Bomb to the plate. He's one for three today. Three and one's the count, and he's walked him. That looked like a tied pitch, didn't it? And it is going to be Diario, Diario? Dario Alvarez coming up now to face Alvarez. And a good outing there from, uh, from Prof, wasn't it? Given up two runs from his 8.2 innings. Can Alvarez see us off this one? Yes, he can. Another strikeout for Baez. He really is all or nothing, isn't he, old Jeffrey Baez? That'll do it for the eighth. We're three outs away now. Can Kuypers and Co. tap on a couple of insurance runs here for us? That's been popped up, so no uh, no more hits here for Ricky Kuypers. That's one away. Brings up Ryan Jackson, who's one for three today. Full count on Jacko. Come on, mate. He's hit that really well back up the middle. Gets past the shortstop, and Jackson has himself another hit. A one-out single for the shortstop, and this is going to bring up Quillen DeVint now, who's 0 for 2 and not really look like hitting the ball. Let's see what he can do here. He's popped that up, and that'll be two away. And it's going to be up to Martina to try and keep our innings alive here. As uh, Jackson stays at first. Martina, who's 0 for 3. First pitch swing from him. Martina grounds at the second base, and that'll do it for the eighth. We are now heading out to pitch. We are three outs away from being crowned Dutch regular season champions. It's Alvarez to try and see it out for us. McDonald to the plate. He's two for three today and had a very good day at the plate. But what can Alvarez do with him? You can strike him out. There we go. Excellent stuff. One away. Timma steps in now. He's 0 for 3 today. What can we do with him? 2 and 0's the count. That's the ground ball. Over the first, please, Jackson. There it is. That's two away. We are one out away from being crowned Dutch champions. Tino Van Ork is at the plate. He's one for one today. Well, sorry, one for three today. He's popped it up. Jeffrey Bladell make the catch, mate. And we are Dutch regular season champions. Go on, Stockies. <laughs> Congratulations, Josie. Dutch champions. You must be delighted. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Clarence. Look, I mean, you never expect to win, but we knew we had a good team of players for this season. Uh, you know, we've worked hard for it, though, um, and I think I think we're just deserved champions as well. But it is just a regular season. There's still the playoffs to come. Hey, one second, mate. Roger, stop punching people. You're going to get suspended again and miss the postseason. Oh, I don't know what to do with him, man. I don't know what to do with him. Uh, but, yeah, like I was saying, it, you know, it is the postseason to come. It looks like it's going to be against uh, the Amsterdam Pirates. Uh, they've given us a really tough time this season. They've shown already they're more than capable of beating us. So, you know, we'll enjoy this tonight. Uh, but, you know, we're certainly not uh, counting any chickens just yet. So there we go. The X is next to the name. We have won the Dutch Championship. We haven't got a, a notification in the mail just yet. I suspect that is because it was a doubleheader day. So, um, yeah, we don't get the, sort of the proper game recognition just yet. But uh, as I said, we can see there the X is next to us. We have secured the Dutch regular season title, which is absolutely amazing. Um, is it going to say anything there? That's just the run in for both teams, isn't it? But it doesn't matter now because it's done. It is done. So congratulations to us, guys. If you have enjoyed that, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And we will be back next time for game one of the playoffs. Uh, let me know exactly how you'd like to see the uh, the playoffs get covered by us. Um, but I do think maybe, uh, again, let me know what you guys think if it's too much to watch. But I'm thinking maybe we do do uh, game one tomorrow being Sunday, uh, then game two on Tuesday, game three on Thursday, uh, the next weekend, it would be game four and five and so on through to the end of the end of the playoff series. But that's that's my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. I'll play through to the end of the regular season and I'll see you tomorrow for game one, most likely against L&D Amsterdam Pirates, but it could be against the defending champions, Curacao. Take care.